definitely one of the most uh, crazy things. Been pretty busy day. Gonna try to make all my videos in one sitting to upload them. But yeah, it is wild. You know, every single day I get between 10 to 20 emails or text messages or phone calls about selling collections, Yu-Gi-Oh collections, figures, anime figures, sometimes big collections, sometimes small collections, obviously a ton of Magic the Gathering. And I think people still are not very reasonable with the price they want. Now, again, I've been very clear. I will match the highs buy list. And if the collection is something more unique or something bigger, we will work out that. And a lot of times, uh, I think one guy had 40 Eternal Master boxes. Well, the only buy list I, we could find is Card Kingdom, and they only want to buy four of them. So if I had to buy 40 of them, I'm not going to offer you the price of four of them. I will ask the first four, I will match Card Kingdom. That's matching the buy list. But the next 36, I'm not going to give you that price because even Card Kingdom cannot sell 40 boxes. And this is my point. How the hell am I going to sell 40 boxes of internal masters for any amount of money? I mean, already you're tanking. If the biggest card store, or I mean, one of the biggest, can only buy four of this item, why would I want to buy 40 of the item? So again, I'm seeing a lot of people buy list and they just have like an infinite amount of items. Like, I don't know what they did to buy so many items. It was not a good investment. I'm here to tell you, you have 40 Eternal Masters booster boxes. How the blank are you going to sell them? Like, there's just not demand for it. How many people want an Eternal Masters box? Like. Like why? Double Masters is just better. It's the same card, but more of them and more foils. So that's kind of the issue that I'm, I'm trying to explain here is that Wizard of the Coast, I mean, especially with the $1,000 reprint pack, I mean, what could be better than a bunch of proxies, right? 60 proxies. I'm trying to kind of make this, ex I'm trying my best not to get like too worked up on this video because it is an emotional thing when people get upset when you tell them, hey, oh, this is too low, blah, blah. I mean, my mother effort, like you have 40 eternal, you have 40 boxes the biggest buy list we can find only wants four of them. What the hell are you gonna do without a 36 of them? <laughs> and you know, as a box breaking channel, maybe it's a little different. Actually, I went to storage today to get my Inuyasha cards out because I wanna do a video of like the largest Inuyasha collection. And I just remember I should have bought more, but that was fun. A lot of people bought magic cards, Pokemon cards, sports cards because they wanted to make money. You don't need 40 boxes of Eternal Masters. Nobody needs 40 boxes of Eternal Masters. Okay? The reason that nobody opens them and everyone keeps them sealed is because some alpha investment individual told them it would be a good investment. But then when it comes time to sell it, like how are you going to sell it? And like I told um, the guy who showed me the collection, it was like 26,000 and some chains. I, I forget, I think it was like 26, 27,000. Once I bought his collection, I couldn't buy anyone else's collections because his collection is almost the same as everyone else's collections. It's got Modern Masters, it's got War of the Sparks, it's got Dominaric, some really good stuff. But like when you have 40 boxes of, or 40 boxes of Modern Horizons and you know, five more dudes send you an email, I can show you all these emails it would blow your mind like how much of the same product everyone's trying to sell me. And it's like, dude, like there's nobody who wants your product right now. So I'm all set with sealed. Unless it's like something special or it's like a one of or something like that. But like, people selling me 40, 50, 60, 80 boxes of a set. How the F am I going to sell 80 boxes of a set that even though it has doubled in price, who's buying it for that? The, the liquid, the, how liquid it is. So this is what people don't understand when they buy boxes as investments. The only time someone would buy your box is if they too thought it was an investment. Therefore, if there's less people who are thinking sealed as an investment, there's less people buying those boxes as an investment. 
And if you really want to get into the details and so I'm a buyer, right? I, when this whole thing started, I bought 26 and a half, whatever it turned out to be, great business, good deal. I felt like I got a pretty good deal. And obviously the guy sent me so many boxes, it would blow your mind, right? I mean, there's two closet folds of boxes I haven't shown you yet. That was it. Like I've been buying sealed in Yasha, sealed other things, but that's it for magic. Unless you have like sealed one ofs where it's just kind of a collection of one of each. But if you're selling 40 of each single set, I already have 40 of every single set. I don't need you, but like the amount of people who are just sitting on boxes, like just tremendous amount of boxes, and now are just realizing that selling these boxes is impossible because even the biggest buy list only wants four of them. Because why would you want more than four Eternal Masters, right? Why would anyone want more than that? Like, yeah, it has gone up in price, congratulations, but you don't actually make money until you sell it and you throw it on Amazon, it could sit there for like nine months before someone buys it. It doesn't have liquidity. So let me explain the difference between liquidity and actual money. There are some assets that I will always buy no matter how many you give me. So Ring Invention, yep. Underground Sea, yep. Black Lotus, yep. What I will not buy infinite amounts of because it takes a lot of space and it's very heavy and it's very bulky and honest to God, you just run out of space is sealed booster boxes of Pokemon or magic or anything, especially the standard or the semi-standard, semi-recent modern stuff. This stuff has very little value after I acquired the first batch. I bought a lot of sealed boxes You've seen them, they're in the background when I live stream and so on. Maybe I'll give you a tour of my upstairs, which I've just made a store. And actually I had a really great interview with a young lady and she seemed very excited to get with the live shopping. Again, no idea when these videos are uploaded or if these videos are uploaded in any order, but my we might be on a better timetable than previously. Previously we were on a really bad timetable now I think the timetable has uh, quickened, which would be good because hopefully, you know, I do need help. I need a lot of help. Um, at the end of the day, like I cannot run my agency and the live shopping and it would be very foolish for me to give up a very profitable agency to try to gamble. The, but even I believe live shopping is a huge, huge opportunity, but no, some, some kid and his dog, but I just don't have the time for it. And it's very unfortunate because, you know, I, I tried, I tried. Anyway, bye guys.